So Cardiff's a big city, lots of places to drink. If you're going out on a Saturday night, how do you choose which one to go to? Well, luckily, a local author has come up with a guide to the best pubs in Cardiff, and it's down to me to go to the pub to talk to him. It's a difficult job. In short, the book um, covers 20 pubs in and around Cardiff. Each pub has got a series of photos, very much sort of fly on the wall um, photos, not the kind of typical sort of posed PR shots you might be more used to seeing. Um, and really the, the kind of the core um, aspects of the book is that it's kind of the action against a lot of the writing you see um, about pubs and bars, which to my mind is quite often quite earnest, quite po-faced. Um, they'll often be talking about what real ales are on tap, what the food's like, that sort of thing, which is fine, but frankly, a bit boring. Um, and I just wanted to do something a bit more playful, um, a bit more subjective, um, and something that, to my mind, kind of more closely reflected what the experience of actually going to the pub was like. Unfortunately, um, I had to go to a number of uh, pubs around Cardiff. That and, sounds a terrible job. Well, you know, somebody's got to do it. Um, but yeah, we, we, um, myself and Phil Jones, who took all the photos, um, went to you know, a lot of places around Cardiff and then basically made, from that kind of came up with a short list of um, the 20 places that made it into the book. I guess the key things to kind of say is that it's not, that by no means is it 20 best pubs and bars in Cardiff, um, it's just the idea is it's a snapshot, um, a kind of reflection of the variety of different places that are around the city. What's the, uh, the pub and bar scene like in Cardiff? Um, I think it's really healthy at the moment actually, there's um, always places, um, sort of always new places opening, um, places being refurbished um, and there's just such a variety on offer and really there's kind of something for everyone and especially in the city centre, because it's quite a small city so there's so many pubs in quite a small area um, and there's much more to it than just people, you know, people think of drinking in Cardiff and you think of the bottom end of St Mary Street on a Saturday night um, sort of people falling over and throwing up in bins and um, not saying I've never done that um, but there's a lot more to kind of drinking in Cardiff than just that. Well looking at the locations you've been to I mean would it be fair to say that as far as you're concerned the chains can be just as good as these small independent establishments? Absolutely no. I think part of the point of the book is to kind of um, almost highlight that there's you know there's value in all of these places as what you know kind of some worth in all of them and you know we're absolutely not snooty about you know for example O'Neill's or Weatherspoons. Um, these are the sort of places that you know a huge numbers of people go to. So you've been round to 20 establishments for your book. You, you must have a favourite out of those 20. Um, yeah, it's difficult to pick one favourite because it really just depends on sort of what you're after, what time of day it is, what sort of mood you're in. Um, but a few places I really do like um, is where we are now, which is Dempsey's, which is sort of a great um, sort of late night. Uh, drinking Emporium, come here quite a lot, probably slightly too much if anything. Um, I really like the Pen and Wig, that's um, great for sort of a bit of a sit down over a pint. Um, and Terra Nova down in the bay, I, I like as well, if you go on the balconies there, you've got great view over the bay. Um, perhaps not great so good in the middle of the winter, but, um, but yeah, there's, there's, there's loads of places in Cardiff, so it's, you know, it's difficult to kind of pin it down to just two or three.